Meghan Markle latest, anguished Duchess begged dad to make up. Friends of the Duchess of Sussex have revealed she wrote to her father after the royal wedding pleading with him to repair their relationship. But they said when she asked him to stop speaking to the media, he responded by asking for a photo opportunity. In a series of interviews with American magazine People, the friends have given fresh insight into her new life. The interviews may have been authorized by Meghan, although Kensington Palace press office appears to know nothing about them. The five friends, a longtime pal, a former co-star, a friend from Los Angeles, a former colleague and a close confidant, said they were worried that pressure on the Duchess could be affecting her pregnancy. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. The former co-star said, Meg spends so much time taking care of everyone else, that's her nature. The five friends, all speaking anonymously, paint a picture of a loving, caring and religious individual, who hands out hand warmers to the guards at Kensington Palace. They also said she has taken to her new faith in the Church of England. Meg is extremely faithful. We pray a lot together. We meditate. She has had, and especially now, a very close relationship with God. Meghan they said, was hurt by stories labeling her duchess difficult, after it was reported she had ruffled feathers in the royal household. The stories also alleged that she and Prince Harry were growing apart from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. One friend gave an insight into life at Kensington Palace in the week before Harry and Meghan's wedding in May, when her father Thomas was caught staging paparazzi photographs of himself and then pulling out of the wedding. The friend said, even with all that, Meg and Harry were still so focused on getting him to London. At no point was there talk of now that we know he lied, he's in trouble. Tom wouldn't take her calls, wouldn't take Harry's calls. Next morning when the car got there, to take him to the airport, he wouldn't get in. Meg heard he had had a heart attack and she's calling and texting, even up to the night before the wedding. It was like, please pick up. I love you and I'm scared. The friend added, after the wedding she wrote dash dad. I'm heartbroken. I love you. I have one father. Stop victimizing me through the media so we can repair our relationship. Then he writes her a really long letter in return and closes it by requesting a photo op. And she feels like, that's the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't want to communicate through the media. And you're asking me to communicate through the media. Did you hear anything I said? It's like their ship's passing. He knows how to get in touch with her. He's never called. He's never texted. It's super painful because Meg was so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. Mr. Markle claims he has tried repeatedly to contact his daughter but she will not answer his messages.